Welcome back, story timers. Today's read aloud is Rinny Roo's Kansas Adventure by Jean Johnson. My name is Rinny Roo and I'm a kangaroo. Going on adventures is what I like to do. Howdy, folks. In this new adventure, we are making new friends and going new places. Welcome back, y'all. I made a new friend. I'd like you to meet Tater Tot. He's a parakeet. We have a new destination in mind for today's adventure. Tater Tot likes adventures too. You can tell him all about our last trip to Dinosaur Valley. Are you ready to use your imagination? I'm ready, are you? Tater Tot told me that he has been practicing. Can you guess where we are going today? Kansas is also known as the Sunflower State. We are visiting Kansas. Sunflowers are big yellow flowers that are part of the daisy flower family. Sunflowers are also known for their edible seeds. Mm. Did someone say sunflower seeds? My favourite! In April every year, Wamigo, Kansas has a flower festival that features tulips. People come from all over to see these amazing flowers that create a beautiful rainbow of colour. Tulips are perennials. That's a big word that means they live no longer than two years. Did you know the scientific name for tulips is tulipa? In the month of October, Wamigo transforms again. They have a festival dedicated to the story called The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Downtown Wamigo will transport you into the story as the characters come alive. Walking through town, you will see monkeys, lions, scarecrows and even a tin man. Don't worry, they're all playing pretend. Bring the whole family. They even have a total look-alike contest for puppies. The state bird of Kansas is the Western Meadowlark. Did you know the scientific name is Stonella Neglecta? Kansas is the 34th state in the United States. Wamigo, Kansas is known for its many festivals. Prehistoric animals like the mammoth once walked through Kansas too. They were related to today's elephants. Did you know a complete lower leg bone of a mammoth was found in Kiowa County, Kansas? Mammothus is a scientific name. Did you know mammoths could reach up to 12 feet tall? Time to stretch our imagination. Look how small we look next to a mammoth. Mammoth tusks are huge. Tusks are actually very long front teeth. But the mammoths did not use them to eat. Kansas was stomping ground for pterosaurs too. Or should I say, the skies were. Pterosaurs hunted the ancient shores of Kansas. They would dive down from the sky and scoop up their food from the water. Would you like to visit the sunflower state? The ornate box turtle is the official state reptile. The barred tiger salamander is the official state amphibian. Using my imagination, I'm going to fly a pterosaur high up in the sky. The barred tiger salamander can grow up to 14 inches long. These salamanders are mostly nocturnal, which means they are most active at night. The ornate box turtle can completely withdraw in its shell for protection. These turtles are land-dwelling, which means they live on dry lands. Did you enjoy learning about Kansas? Well, it's time for us to scoot on out of here. See you on our next adventure. Till next time. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.